What's up everybody, it's Norman Wood. And I'm gonna teach you how to do a Wally today. I've had some requests for this trick. I just happened to have a clip that I filmed before I injured myself, so let's do it. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of showing you guys the trick and then going over the steps, I'm gonna use a clip of a Wally that I filmed and I'm gonna use that to break the trick down. So let me go ahead and show the clip first. The first step to your Wally is setting up your feet. And I like to set my feet up exactly the same way I would for an Ollie. If you've seen my video, How to Ollie Higher, then you know about the Ollie box where I place the toes of my back foot. My front foot I'm gonna place just behind the bolts. Sometimes a little higher up, it really depends on the height of the obstacle that I'm trying to wally. If I'm trying to go over the top or off the side. Generally, if I'm gonna go off the side of something, I'm gonna have my feet a little further up. And if I'm trying to clear the top of an obstacle, like a barrier or anything like that, I'm gonna have my feet behind the bolts. So the clip that I'm using, I went off the side, but I also cleared the top. And as such, my feet are just behind the bolts. So the next thing, as you're preparing to put your wheels onto the obstacle, you're gonna start to swing your hips forward. And I like to think of my body like a pendulum. I learned this from watching Danny Gonzalez when he did his wall ride to vertical wall ride in one of those old Transworld videos. So you can check that out because that's a really good example. And what I mean by using your body like a pendulum is I'm going to keep my upper body in the same position that it is when I'm rolling and I'm going to swing my legs and hips forward into the wall or whichever obstacle I'm wallying off of. Okay, one quick note. Before I mention swinging your hips forward to get your wheels up onto whatever you're wallying off of, I should have mentioned that you need to bend your knees. Just like when you're going to ollie, you bend your knees before popping the board. Think of a wally like an ollie and the part where you bash your wheels into the obstacle that you're wallying off of is like the pop. So you have to bend your knees and after bending your knees, swing your hips forward to get the wheels to go vertical up onto the obstacle you're wallying off of. So next, you've already swung your wheels into the obstacle. Once your board becomes vertical, you're gonna use your front foot similar to the way you do when you do an ollie. And that means you're gonna slide the side of your front foot up against the grip tape and then you're gonna to begin to suck your knees up towards your chest to flatten the board out. And once the board's flattened out, you're just gonna to wait to hit the ground and bend your knees to absorb the impact. So there's a few little tips that have helped me with my wall rides over the years and my wallies. And the first of these tips is that you wanna make sure that you avoid hitting your nose on the wall. So a lot of times you're getting your board to go up onto the wall, and this is with wall rides and wallies, and you're not getting your wheels onto the wall fast enough, and that causes your nose to hit the wall. And sometimes you can get away with that, but at other time, a lot of times that'll just stop you in your tracks. So you're gonna make sure that you're getting your wheels up onto the wall and not your nose. The next thing that helps me with wallies especially is visualization. So before you've ever done a wally, I'm sure you've seen tons of them and you should watch videos and choose one that you'd like to have in your head when you're going to try your first wallies. And this is not just a tip that'll help you with wallies. I have this for pretty much every trick, you know? Like, I have a visualization of Andrew Reynolds for a frontside flip, right? Um, I'm sure a lot of people have that. Uh, you might have that old Donnie Barley triple set switch hard flip in your mind for that trick. Uh, for a back tail, I always think Kenny Anderson, and there's a specific one that I think of. So yeah, that would probably help you. And the last little tip that I have is timing, right? So most tricks, 
when you do them, they're gonna have a specific sound that they create and that's gonna fit into a specific amount of time. So whenever I'm going for a Wally, I know what it sounds like and I'm thinking of that sound in my head as I'm rolling up and the amount of time that it takes and that just helps me get my feet and my body in the right position at the right time so that I can do the trick. So let's recap the steps really quick. You're rolling up to your obstacle. Obviously you want to have a decent amount of speed. You're going to start going faster the more you do. So start at a moderate speed in the beginning. You're going to set your feet up the way that you would for an ollie. When you get close, you're going to start to swing your hips forward into the obstacle and keep your body in about the same position it was in while you're rolling. Once you get your wheels up onto the wall, you're going to use your front foot the way you do for an ollie, meaning you're going to slide it up on the board. Then you're going to bend your knees, pull them up towards your chest so you can flatten out the board. Once the board's flattened out, you're going to wait to hit the ground and bend your knees to absorb that impact. And then the tips that I gave you were to visualize what you're doing, have someone's Wally in your mind when you're starting to do this. I gave a couple examples. I know I also think of Jordan Maxim when I do a front feeble or a back smith because I've seen him do so many and in my opinion he does them perfectly. Have someone for Wallys like that. I try to choose a person who rides the same stance as me as well because it just makes it easier to visualize. Think of the timing, like how long it takes from the start of the trick to when you land the trick and have that in your head, that helps me. And also the sound that it makes when you do that specific trick. Um, now when it comes to doing wallies over gaps, that whole waiting once your board is leveled out is gonna be key. So the more you get accustomed to being still once you're waiting to land a trick and not trying to push your legs to the ground, I know I go over this in just about every tutorial I make, but that's really gonna make it a lot easier for you with wallying over gaps. So yeah, you're gonna roll up, feet like an ollie, swing your hips so that your wheels get up onto the obstacle, slide your front foot up, pull your knees to your chest so the board levels out, wait to hit the ground, and you should be able to wally. Uh, I'm Norman Woods. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you have any type of recommendations for tricks, please let me know. I do have a sprained ankle right now, but I'm going to do my best to get tutorials out. Like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching.